What's up, guys? Welcome to week six of New Gen TV. Where we're here at La Jolla High School, where La Jolla beat the Mira Mesa Marauders 48 to 42. And here's a couple words from the kickers. Hi, guys. I'm here with Evan Martin with, from the La Jolla Vikings. You guys got the dub tonight. Yep. Nice job. You had a pretty good performance. How do you think you did? Um, I think I did pretty good. I went 100% on attempted touchbacks, which feels good. Almost 100% on PAT. We got one blocked, but it's all good. We'll, we'll work on that with our, with our team. Um, punts, I put one on the two on the one. On the two-ish. Two-ish, one-ish. Two. Close. And then the other one, I kind of hit weird. But overall, I think the whole special teams unit did great today. Back in week one, you told us that you were going on a visit to Cal Poly. Yeah. How did that go? Cal Poly was, it was awesome. Um, got to meet all the, or talk to all the coaches again. Got to watch a game, see what their pregame vibe is like. And just being up there, being on the sideline, close with all the players and talking to the coaches really made me see how awesome Cal Poly is. It's been about six weeks since we last talked to you what improvements have you made have you and your team made since then i think our special teams overall has actually improved quite a bit um i think it's we just put in more effort just on kickoff on punt all that our whole special teams unit is really just starting to lock in and for me i think i'm able to get punts off a little faster that can maybe affect how i hit it sometimes but i'm getting off faster um staying consistent on touchbacks and pats so so we're feeling good overall we're feeling good as of week one, you guys are one to know. We're now in week seven. You guys are four and two. Mm -hmm. How have your expectations for the season changed? Um, we obviously started off strong, going two and zero after after the Bishops game, and we felt really good. Um, we had two rough games after that, but I think it really just kind of woke our team up. Um, and now we're playing harder than ever. So, looking forward into the games, I'm feeling really good because our team is. We felt what it's like to lose, and we don't want to feel that again. So I think we're ready to keep going strong and have a good season rest of the season if you could have a superpower what would that be um i'd probably go with super strength because i would probably go straight to the league right after high school if i had super strength so if you had super strength would you keep playing kicker Ooh. or would you try playing another position well, i would say maybe like an athlete of kicker and running back that's valid yeah <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, now I'm here with Eddie Medina. You guys didn't get the result you wanted. You guys fought hard, though. It was a super close game. What do you think about your performance? I, uh, I think I did pretty good. I went 7-for-7 seven seven on uh, PAT. Didn't have any field goals today, unfortunately, and it all came down to the last uh, onside kick. We uh, unfortunately didn't come up with it, but I'm proud of this team. What are your guys' expectations for the rest of the season? Um, with how that second half went or that fourth quarter went, I think I'm, I'm so proud of this team. I think we're going to have a great season if we play like that. No, we are down 20, I believe, and we came back and left it at a six-point game. So I, I have high expectations for us. You're one of the best juniors in the county. What should we expect to see from you in your senior season? I'm trying to be um, one of the best punters in the country, not really in the county, in the country. And this team's still pretty young, so next year we should, we should have some pretty good potential. If you were to give your freshman year self advice, what advice would that be? I would just say do what you want. Um, weightlifting's fun. <laughs> um, weightlifting's fun. Definitely get into that a little bit more. But, yeah, do what you want. It's all you. You went to a bunch of camps this summer, both Chris Saylor and uh, college camps. How do those go? I think I did pretty good. I was satisfied with my performance at Chris, the Chris Saylor camp, the underclassman invitational. And then I had Fresno, I had Fresno and Arizona that I placed top 10. Fresno, top 10 in field goal and Arizona top 10 in um, punting. So I was pretty satisfied with how my summer went. And just a little fun question to ask at the end. If you could have any superpower, what would that be? I would probably say probably invincibility or invisibility my bad <laughs> um i don't know i feel like it'd be pretty fun to be invisible sounds fun valid all right thank you right. that was episode six of new gen tv thank you guys for watching stay tuned for next week where we see rancho bernardo take on ramona